Man United have signed Romelu Lukaku from Everton, £75 million. Having already signed Lindelof, they are clearly winning the transfer window. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man City got two players signed before anyone even knew you were allowed to sign players. They had the transfer window won long before United even jumped into action. Hold your, hold your horses, hold your horses. Everton have completed the signing of six players, including bringing back boyhood scouser, club legend and hero, Wayne the Human Potato Rooney. <laughs> Bournemouth, Begovic, Defoe, Ache. Shut up, winning the transfer window, it's not a thing. Not a thing. It is not. A thing. What do you think it is? These people who think it's a thing, what do you think happens? You think the trophy parade is like what Jim White parachuting in, setting himself on fire, and handing over the trophy while Natalie Sawyer presumably puts her legs behind her heads and fires out medals out of a fire. No, it's not a thing. The season is over or you know, not begun. Depends on whether you're a glass half full, glass half empty kind of person. Can we leave this competitive bollocks? for just a few more weeks. Honestly, it's like there's an unquenchable thirst for one-upmanship that will not die in some people. And you know what? To some extent, it's fine if it's just like a bit of banter between mates or whatever, but no, it's crossing into mainstream media when you've got albeit horrendously shit newspapers and you know which one I'm talking about, making articles and graphics about who's winning the window. It's, it's Man United because of Lukaku. Shut up, it's not a thing, it's not a thing. And I get the rivalry and the and the banter and the need to just get one up on, on your friends and, and fans of other football clubs. And you know what? It's exacerbated by the fact that you've got loads of these social media media accounts who exist to troll fans of other clubs who are all basically run by people who are on the spectrum. That's become part and parcel of football, but can we rein it in? Can we just rein it in? It's like being back on the junior school playground. Like, every time you lose an argument, you immediately start a new one to win that one. So, your trainers are rubbish. Well, you smell like poo. Not me. Yeah, well, your mum's a slag. Constant. Constant, never-ending, unceasing battle to just get something over. Just get a win. Get a win under your belt. The worst proprietors of this? Man United. Man United, just sign Romelu Lukaku. Well done. Wind it in. You've got rid of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Both had about a 1-2 in two goal scoring ratio last season. Both great players. Lukaku absolutely improves you. But you know what? You're still finished. And Arsenal... Listen, I've been here. Alexander Lacazette, tremendous player. I'm a jealous. Yeah, love a bit of Lacazette. What a player. You know what? Wind it in, Arsenal fans. You know why? Europa League. <laughs> the Europa League. Let's see how you handle that before you start mouthing off about who's winning something that doesn't exist. And to be honest, is it any great surprise from Arsenal fans if they're trying to invent yet another trophy that doesn't actually exist to justify the fact that things aren't great at their football club? Yeah. And look, on the flip side, no one's losing the window either. If you can't win the window, you can't lose it either. That's also not a thing. Chelsea, you've signed the centre-half. Your fans are going into meltdown. Wind it in. You won the league last season. You won the league. Yeah, you've got some issues. You won the league. Try your best to enjoy life, boys. Ultimately, the only way to judge the success of a transfer window is by judging the success of the season that follows it. And yeah, look, it's a ball like I hate having to wait for answers. You know what's killed us with this? Box set viewing. Box set viewing. Trade paperbacks. Whatever happened to the days of waiting. Serialization used to breathe a little bit of patience in us. Netflix, you're to blame for this. Stop giving us an entire season in one hit. Killing us, Netflix. You're killing us. And I know it doesn't fit with this here and now. Need it now. Gotta prove it. Gotta have this ammunition to shoot other fans in the face with. But my God, this is the thing about football. No one ever really wins. Nobody ever wins. Goes on and on and on. And you judge it season at a time, season at a time. Have Man United won the transfer window? Fact of the matter is, the only way to tell whether those signings are any good is to watch them play football over a season. You know what? You know what's even worse? Not even one season. Sometimes it takes a season to settle in. Isn't that annoying and shit? Because it doesn't fit our instant gratification narrative.
Bollocks. So yeah, we judge it next year and then you know what we say? Let's see how they handle the next transfer window. And then we judge that transfer window the season after that. And so on and so on and so on and fucking so on till we die. <laughs> so listen, nobody is winning, nobody has won and nobody can win this transfer window because winning the transfer window is not a thing repeat after me winning the transfer window is not a thing you know unless liverpool sign virgil van dijk Naby Keita, and a decent left back and then ah, it's all about the mighty reds anyway just a little thing that's been that's been itching away at the back of my brain this week let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below just my thoughts on transfer windows the fact that winning the window is not a thing for what it's worth not a thing